Yo, what's up people? So we're out here in Qatar for the quarterfinals of the World Cup. If you know how last minute I am, I literally got my tickets for, I'm watching Croatia versus Brazil now. I literally got my tickets half an hour ago. So here we are walking up to the stadium and check this out. These lot just handing out food. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yo, so we're here now, closer to the stadium. You can see it in the background now. Uh, we passed security and everything like that. You can hear the vibes are picking up. There is a ton of Brazilian fans. It's actually quite hard to spot the Croatian fans out here. It's looking to be a very, very interesting game. Brazil fans confident, Croatian fans confident. Let's see what happens at the end of the 90 minutes or 120 for penalty shootouts. So we got here a little bit earlier. I'm just going to give you a bit of a vibe of what's going on around the stadium. Stage on over there. Got all the fans obviously walking in. And here's the food. Got myself a nice little Coca-Cola and hot dogs. We're not so sure about the taste yet, but we'll find out in a second. So here we are in the stadium finally now. I forgot the name of the stadium, but we're here. And look at that. I don't think I'm sleeping this in up. It's the quarter final of the World Cup. I've never ever seen an international game in my life. And I'm hoping this one is something special. Brazil versus Croatia. Come on. And there we have it kick off here at the Education City Stadium. The Brazil fans are a large in number, but the Croatian fans are not quiet. We've got a chance already here. We're now 13 minutes into the game, not many chances, but Croatia probably had the best chance just going straight across the goal. All he needed was a touch and now they've got a corner. And like I say, a lot of the fans I spoke to before this game were underestimating Croatia, but Croatia are definitely here to win this game, they're not here to participate. So. Things have right. livened up here a little bit. I don't know if that's a red card, but definitely a high foot. It's a free kick now for Croatia in a very, very dangerous area. If they can get ahead on this free kick or make something off it, it's going to push them back. I can feel it. There's a goal coming. Tap on a player on the board to see his stats in the eyes. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at this! Right, who do we want to find? Let's find Modric. It's a liar. Oh my god, look at this. Yeah. Got Modric's live speed. Look, look, look. So look, I'll just click on the player. No way. That's Neymar, he's going this speed. I can go on this stat. So that was the AR experience. This is the multi camera. So I'm going to watch live angles. I can watch the game from different angles. I'm going to watch more. Quality sucks a little bit, but this is, <laughs> this is the future. We're now into the 40th minute of the game, five minutes until half time. And now Neymar and I can't see who the player next to him, Rafinha. Rafinha are setting themselves up for a free kick on the edge of the box here. And here we are, half time here at the Education City Stadium and the score between Croatia and Brazil is still nil-nil. Do you think Croatia can take this to the finish line? I think they can pull something out of the bag. I think coverage. He'll get his score header. One nil. One nil. Interesting second half here so far. Definitely both teams are going to try and score before the 90th minute to try and get the winner over here. And it's second substitution of the day. We've got Rodrigo coming on for who? Old top. Vinicius is on. God, Vinicius Junior, that's a very interesting one. Where 
got, son. Oh, can't I? You're sure as hell. The atmosphere is going crazy over here. The Croatian fans making a ton of noise, but the Brazilian fans trying to drown them out. We've got 25 minutes left of these 90 minutes, and we're still at no no. Neymar and it's another chance by Neymar. One on one with the goalkeeper, he should have put that one away, but he hasn't. It's a corner now for Brazil. Oh, can't fly. Fly. Oh, right. And Marquinhos knew exactly what he was doing there when he made that foul on the Croatian. He had to break down their attack. A big, big shout out to Livakovic, who has really kept Croatia in this game by holding Neymar's one on ones down to zero. Listen, I would not want to be Croatian right now. Brazil are knocking harder and harder on that door. The Croatian keeper is doing really, really well to keep them in this game. And the atmosphere is really building here. All fans just really want to see a goal right now. And look at that, he's been involved in seven goal preventions, Livakovic. The star man for Croatia today. And things are getting even stranger here at the Education City Stadium. Brazil with another substitution. Initially they took off Vinicius Jr. And now they've taken off Richarlison, their top goal scorer in this World Cup campaign. Where are Brazil going to get their goal from? Is it going to be the new substitute, Pedro? Oh, oh, oh. He's a goalkeeper, he's not a striker. Yes, and we've just got a bit of a Liverpool hater here. <laughs> any reason, any reason to try to step on the red. But I don't know whether to say Brazil are putting themselves under pressure or the Parisians are putting the Brazilians under pressure. But they're definitely not letting Brazil develop into this game any further. I'll be honest, it's been an extremely boring game. But will they come out in this next 30 minutes and prove to us why they are at the top stage of the game? Don't have much time to respond to this one. 
and the Croatian fans are completely heartbroken at this moment but the Brazil fans are in full volume we're at half time now but in the Croatia versus Brazil game Brazil with a last last minute goal to make it 1-0 Croatia have 15 minutes to respond do you think Croatia have a chance in this? I don't know I really want them to but it's going to be it's going to be very difficult so it's 1-0 now obviously yeah. to Brazil 15 minutes left for Croatia what's going to happen? Uh, well you expect to see Croatia all out attack basically Neymar and Brazil on the counter attack as always Anthony and Salah do you think Croatia can do it? I don't know, they've, they've got a history of coming back from one goal behind in a knockout, so maybe. I hope so, I want to see Pence. Hamza, what do you think is going to happen? 2-0 to Brazil. Fred's going to come on and score. Either way, we're down for a definite 15 minutes of exciting football. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Look at Guardiola, he's rapid. Okay, three minutes in and Croatia have the pedal all the way down. It's a corner now for the Croatians. seconds left on the clock we're 119 minutes and 55 seconds and um, Anthony's been fouled quite heavily by one of the Croatians in a very very dangerous area potentially last kicks of the game and Brazil could literally win it right now with this free kick This is absolutely incredible. It's 1-1 after full time. It's gonna go the full length to penalties. Croatia versus Brazil. In the next 15 minutes, one of these teams is gonna go through. The Croatian goalkeeper has been phenomenal all game and this is his chance to put his name down on rock. Have it engraved there as a hero for Croatia in the quarterfinals against the Brazilian against the Brazilian side. Oh, Alison Becker, the Liverpool goalkeeper, can win it for the Brazilians. This is going to be an incredible penalty shootout, don't miss it. Alright, so this is a very strange situation. It's very, very rare that I come to a game as a neutral. I don't know what team I'm supporting here, but I'm very much enjoying the moment. What team are you going for? I want Croatia to win easier run for England. What team, what team are you supporting for this penalty shootout? Uh, Croatia. I'm supporting Fred, Casemiro and Anthony. So we've got two Croatia, one Brazil. What team are you supporting for the penalty shootouts? Uh, Croatia. Oh, we've got three Croatia, one Brazil. And I'll be honest, I'm torn right down the middle. But just to make it exciting, I'm going to go. I haven't decided yet. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to go for Croatia. So Hamza's the only one supporting Brazil here. Okay, sorry, I said Hamza's supporting Brazil. He'd like to clarify something. I'm supporting Fred. I already said it. I'm supporting Fred, Casemiro, and Anthony only. So he's, he's still a neutral, he's just supporting those three players who coincidentally play for Brazil, but he's still neutral. So we're all Croatia here basically, let's see what happens. Alright, so the penalty shootouts are about to begin, unfortunately it's on the far side of the pitch. I don't even support any of these teams, I'm stressed out. Honestly, <laughs> this is so stressful. Why is it? Oh my god.
world. I did not expect that. Brazil have missed their first penalty. The last time I saw this, it was Spain did it against Morocco and Japan did it. And whoever missed the first penalty basically went and lost. So have Croatia already won this? Oh, middle. I'll put like 20, 20 pounds on it. Penalties. The middle to the right. Yeah. He's going to keep his right. Luka Modric. Luka Modric, yeah. Keep his right. Oh! oh. Pulled it! Pulled it! Modric's not missed. He's, like, he's, he's too cold with it, Luka Modric. There's a reason he's a bad one to all win on. Keep his nervous. Perenka, Perenka. penalty keepers gone the same direction as the shot and it's slotted right into the bottom left corner i think if brazil wait if brazil missed this they're out in it yeah the pressure is really odd but marquinhos he has to score this he has to score this just to continue this is pressure win